This little path allows us to touch the jungle. I bet there are hidden paths in there that we don't know about, but the locals will. I mean, it's kids who find out all these things, don't they? When they're playing, they venture off into the wild. Lots of greybeards in there. So I said there are some steep areas, you've got to be careful. Then a bit further down it gets really wide. It's amazing really the diversity of this walk. But it is a nice little walk I think. But if you're in a hurry you need to keep to the top one just to get down. Um, yeah, like I said there are some steep areas that you've got to be careful. And remember that, once you've done this bit it's not so bad. Yeah, I bet there's some paths in there, don't you? The root provides some steps for us off the tree. Isn't that nice? The roots are providing these steps for us humans. Of course, I'm going down. I've put um, insect repellent on, so nothing's coming near me at the moment. <sighs> oh, look at that lovely little area there. Look at that. A little oasis, isn't it? A little oasis. Once again, the roots provide steps for us. A lush little oasis, isn't it? You know? You probably can add on a quarter of an hour doing it this way while you've got this diverse bit to do. But it's nice, isn't it? And it's good for your mus leg muscles. They have to do different work. The leg muscles have to do different work. Keeps them nimble and flexible. But you do have to be careful. I mean, I broke my wrist. I'd go out in the wilds climbing, doing all sorts. I, I tripped over a stone two or three inches high. A fixed curbstone that should never be there. And other people have tripped on it. But the council won't remove it, remove it because it's something to do with the history of the town. They did come out and repair all the road, though, but they didn't remove that bit. Look at that old stone. I spent, I've mentioned it before. It's an old gate stone. You know? Look at that, though. Look at that little wandering where I'm going now. How different to the, just the main track. The main track's great, but look at that, that lovely wandering that I've just done. Down through there. Protected myself with an with the insect repellent against ticks and mosquitoes and hopefully horse flies. But I don't think you'll get any horse flies down here. But isn't it gorgeous? I like to get the, all these roots down. Like I said, I've lost strength over the last ten since ten years ago. I was stronger. I'm, I'm using that ten year period. Now when I'm 82, I'm not expecting to be as fit as this. It would be nice to think, though, that I could still come out here. But I don't know if I will. I'm hoping I can. There are some very fit eight-year-olds. It's only eight years away for me to be 80. But I have noticed a change since I was 60. I'm 72 now. I have noticed. I, I didn't feel weak at all. But basically... 
I think I noticed it over the last, since I moved to the new home, and it was a major, another major upheaval. To be quite honest, every time I move, it's very physically demanding. Because of having to move all the furniture and getting very little help and having to pack everything up. The stress of that. I do like my flat. It's a nice little flat. It's a bit too cold, really. I think it's gonna, I'm going to have to sort of use more money on heating next year in the bedroom because I found the bedroom. I lost the stone, I think, just losing fat body fat to keep warm this winter I don't know if that's real or not anyway let's get off me let's get back to the beautiful countryside like I said I said we'd meet some more open areas didn't I but we had that lovely little wander back there it was very quiet and peaceful and there's the jungle that's the jungle over there and um, up there, which you can't see, is the main track that we did last week. It's still humpy bumpy, but I like this track as well. And we've come out very close to the main track down the bottom here. I just, the way I like, and of course it's not the weekend, it's still quiet. You get family, I'm not moaning about families, what it is, I like the quiet. I like the peace. So, for the next part of this section, until we get to the gate, unless I see a deer or something like that, I'm going to be quiet. I'm just going to video and take the odd photo. I'm just going to do a little bit more video with the Kodak at the end of this walk. Um, obviously I walked down this bit last week. I've just decided that Sony's had enough now for the day. Um, I'll be packing the cameras away shortly. Uh, well, I probably won't because I always find something to photograph in Cheddar. Um, We've just got enough time to stop at a shop and get an orange aid on the way to the bus stop. Um, yeah, I feel quite relaxed. It's been a lovely walk. And this insect repellent I got on, though, don't have reek, though. I reckon when I get on the bus, it's going to stink the bus out. Do you? Yeah. I threaten it will. Not to worry. I just remember just to, I didn't realise how much was coming out. 
some of it was like pure liquid so it's a good job I'm out and about I didn't put it on my skin I just put it around um, clothing oh what a lovely day it's been we have to savour these lovely moments of beauty Yeah, it's a lovely walk that is, lovely walk. I've enjoyed every bit of it. I mean, even going up the hills, don't like doing them, but to be quite honest, they're very good for you, even if you've got asthma. Hill walking is good, but it makes your lungs work. And uh, it can make a difference. It forces your alveoli to open. It's got to. I've had a good day, a really good day. I feel quite a bit, bit tired now. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, I don't like staying in if I know it's going to be like this again. I really don't like doing that. But I have got a smaller walk. Well, nothing's ever small with me. I still have to walk quite a way back if I do that Hutton thing. I just have to see what I feel like in the morning after I go up and get the paper. That will be the test run, I'll know. But if not, I'll do something else. I will do something in the afternoon. Um, but I might not. I might do Hutton. I might not. I'll just see what I feel like in the morning. Can't do it on Sunday because they're, they're, I don't know. No, I don't think the 126 runs on a Sunday. Although you can get a number seven, which takes you to the lock in helicopter museum, and you can walk across the moor from there. Well, that would make it a longer walk. And I was just thinking about doing something steady tomorrow. I'm just going to play it by ear, to be quite honest, to see what happens. I might just end up walking up, walking around the block. Honestly, yeah. I might, I might do. I've got to do some shopping tomorrow. Right, so we're going down this little back lane. Photographed it all last week. So this is like a repeat really. We come out near a little pub and then we got to walk up through the road. Um, we don't have to but I'm going to because I'll have to use the ladies and this the one lot of toilets aren't working in Shadow at the moment because they were disgusting. They've had to shut them. The other ones are always well maintained. Might be a different firm that do it, I don't know. And I want to get a bottle of um, something cold, really cold. I'm only just beginning up. I've been a bit achy, so I've done a lot of walking this week. So I am struggling a bit now. So I'm not getting off to go to the shop when I get home. I'm just going straight home. I'll go up the shop in the morning and get the paper and the bread. The seagulls often know that they've got to wait in Saturdays until I come back from the shop. I can feel I've had a walk, mind. Yeah, yeah. My ribs, God, bloody hell. Right, I'm going to turn off now, folks. Over and out for now. We've had a lovely walk, we really have. <sighs>